Hello YouTube and welcome back again to uh, episode 4 I think now of my Pokemon Black Randomized Nuzlocke. I left you guys here last time and um, well pretty much we had a pretty scary time of um, almost losing our Pokemon to the Team Plasma Grunts but uh, fortunately we did pull through with all three and um, as a quick summary um, Blue Star now is going to be having cut because he was the only one that could learn it. Uh, he's going to be running a Rum Therapy Flame Burst cut cut and blue fair rocking the multi-scale still we have um a chandelure with compound eyes eyeshadow wood hammer nightshade and shadow force and we have the absolute pokemon who's carrying the whole team for us who's going to be nutsy the amalga with brave bird electrical bolt strike and thunder punch so we've got a pretty solid team there we did pick up an oho with well ho -ho, with um drought in the dream yard but i'm just going to pass that off as not an encounter and we're going to go get our first encounter in the grass in this dream yard so um if you want to pause the video and have a quick guess at what you think it could possibly be then uh, feel free to do so hopefully you guys get it right and uh, i'll probably give away a shiny pokemon or something if you guys get it right and i feel like you haven't cheated lauren why don't you go to fennel's house well i'm just gonna look for the pokemon that we saw just now so we do have to go sh back to fennel it would seem straight afterwards we cannot just go in and get an encounter, which is lame, so we're just going to have to run around to Fennel's house. I can't even remember where her house is. Um, any, any ideas? Is it one across here? Nope. Is it this one? How am I supposed to know which house is Fennel's house? Oh, it's this one. Well, that was lucky. No, it isn't this one. What am I chatting? We may get some items, though. Nope. Come here, give me free stuff. Nope, no free stuff. Why you no give me free things? Something about Elsa? Let it go, let it go. Okay, okay, saying I'm not strong just because I only have one badge. Well, though that whole family is useless and not generous at all, so we should go and burn their house down. Come on, Handor. Um, so yeah, like I said, that family house was useless. Let's go in here. Is Fennel's house in here? Fennel, we found you. Ta-da! Thanks to you, I got some Dream Mist, and now I can collect the save files of various trainers. Thank you very much. As a token of my appreciation, I will give you the Sea Gear to use. The Sea Gear is a device related to communication such as infrared connector or a Nintendo Wi-Fi connection, neither of which we can use. So I'm just going to go hurry up and speed on through all this because this is actually totally useless. Um, we don't need any of it. It's going to spam up with a load of hearts. Blah 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 blah. Tells us about Game Sync, which is now closed anyway. Even if we went on an emulator, all this is totally and utterly useless which is unfortunate because i never um had wi-fi when i had black and white um we only had like ethernet so i was never actually able to ever see what the dream world was like so we're gonna go and hopefully now have our first encounter um as bianca moved her booty out of the way hopefully i'm gonna cut down this tree go hound up go go hound up rangers oh Wait, could we have just walked past her this whole time? Am I missing something here? I really did go to Fennel's house. Right, first encounter. Let's see what it's gonna be. It is gonna be a... <sighs> On a disappointment scale of 1 to 100. I'm like 7,000% disappointed. Pokemon I hate the most that's a water type. It's gonna have to be Ludicolo. I'm being serious. I hate that thing. Ah, oh, well. We can go for a flame burst and hope we don't kill it. Is it part water type when it's a lombre? I don't even care if I kill this thing. That's how much I don't like it. Oh, no. We're... Oh my god, it's got air cutter. He got a crit! Um... Let's go and see if we can catch this thing in a safari ball. It would kind of match the colour scheme. Maybe a Ludicolo wouldn't be too bad. You never know, it may have a decent ability. We can catch this guy. One, two, three. Are we going to get first ball? We're going to get first ball, not bad. So we now have a grass type, which is probably a good thing. We didn't have a grass type and we probably could have done with one. Um, it has a mischievous spirit. If it spots an angler, it will tug on the fishing line to interfere. 
It's so ugly. I'm just gonna call it disappointment. What should I call it? Should we call it Lil Lily Lily Pad? Lily! I'll call it Lily. Um, there's an item here. I'm telling you now, if there's something really cool in this grass. I just want to see what else we could have got. I bet it's going to be something infinitely better than a loot ad. Or apparently not. Nothing wants to show up. Oh, see? A drill ball would have been better. Anything would have been better. I could have called him Rolly Mo. I'm really, honestly, exceedingly disappointed. Uh, don't want to stay in on this thing. I'll probably die to a flame burst minute. Yes. Well, I was risking shit then. I could have got Earthquake to death. Alright, let's um, level up Lily. Ooh, it's got an item. X speed. Not even useful at all. Let's see what um ability she's got. She's got quirky nature. She's got poison heal. No. Oh my goodness, it's got crab hammer, substitute, air cutter, and scold. What is it with special Pokemon being physical in this game? Go away, McAfee. I know my trial's expired. So, well, wait, what, what was our nature? Oh, we've got a completely non-beneficial nature, which is better than taking from something we need. It's got pretty tasty special defense. Um, and poison heal maybe isn't such a bad ability if we can get our mitts on a toxic corp or something like that. Um, it could be quite useful. Um, so actually, I'm gonna quit. I'm gonna go back to the... Um, Pokemon Center, have a real fast heal up, go and buy some potions, hopefully we can buy some super potions now, unless we've just got Pokemon that are higher level than, um, thingy. I mean our badge only lets us control level 20 and we're not actually far off level 20, so we should probably slow down and grab the wall. I did not want to open the menu. So we'll just go and heal up really fast. I'm actually really disappointed we got that Lombri. Never in my life would I ever want to use that Pokemon. See you again. Right, let's see if we can buy some decent Pokemon and maybe get that hands on a Great Ball or something. I'm not sure. Oh, yes. Yes. We'll take five Great Balls. I can pair Great Balls, guys. If you could see my suggested buy price right now. Well, the good news is we can afford Super Potions. The bad news is we can only afford three. Although we can actually, um... Oh, goodness. We can't actually sell um, that junk that we had. We can sell this. We can sell this. Well, it's pretty lucky we got that star piece and that big pearl. That is really going to help our pocket money. Um, so, yeah, you can help me out, actually. We are going to buy um, a couple more hundred super potions. And I'm pretty sure we should probably buy, um, maybe we do, are we going to need an escape rope? It's better to be safe than sorry. I'm terrible for getting stuck in caves. Um, I'm going to buy an awakening just on the off chance we may need one. I'm not going to bother buying a burn heal, two of our Pokemon are fire. And there's no point buying poison heal because we have a poison heal Pokemon. So we'll just swap that in if we think we're going to get poisoned. Speaking of, we should probably swap him in front to try and get him some levels, um, her some levels. Although she is level 10, so she's not too far behind. And we can carry on into the um, place around here and see what goodies are going on. If only Lombre got cut and we had it before and we wouldn't have to sacrifice handles. Move slots, but it's too late for that now. There's an item up here, but I'm not actually 100% sure on how, to, on how to get it. I'm so glad we didn't get one of them. Rolly Mo. I hope we get one later on. Thumbs up if you think you should, we should find one later on and call it Broly Mo. It's got Intimidate. That wouldn't be a bad visit either. The other one didn't, so I wonder what the other one had. We're just going to go for a... Um, I think Scald's probably going to be enough to kill this thing. Oh shit, it's going to go for Drill Limp. Oh, it's going to do nothing. We're pretty safe. And we're going to be able to take that thing out. New questions asked. And Lily's going to get some pretty decent XP from that as well. Um, okay, can't go around this way. This is where my Nuzlocke is going to get boring because I'm going to have to speed through the fact that I 
struggle immensely finding my way around obstacles. Yeah, what is it gonna be? Please be a master ball. What is it with these berries? I know my berries. I don't want no berries. A magnet. Oh, we can give that to, um... So, we've got one decent item. One remotely useful item. So, hmm, if I'm down here, how am I meant to get... Ah, oh, ninjask. That wouldn't have been bad either. I'd rather an Ninkata, because that way you could get a Shed Ninja. Oh, let's go for a Skull. It seems unusual this thing have. Oh my goodness, we're gonna lose Ombre. We've only just got it. <laughs> it was a crit! <laughs> I was really warming up to that little guy, girl. Oh, for God's sake. What's that thing doing with Aerial Ace like? Is it even flying type? Is it bug flying? I think it might be bug flying actually. That would make sense. The more you know. Oh well, I'd like to say I was disappointed, but maybe I'm not that really, not really that disappointed. We're gonna have, that's gonna be our first graveyarded poke, and um, I'm slightly, I don't know. I could have warmed up to that guy, girl. Maybe I couldn't. I can't even remember that it was a girl guy, guy, girl, girl, guy. Can we go through there? No. Oh, for goodness sake, I just did the same thing. <laughs> oh, they're just rubbing it in our face. <laughs> I'm sorry, I let you die. I didn't mean to. No, I'm not gonna stay in. I know why Lombres get like crab hammer and stuff. I'm not even risking that for no chocolate biscuits. I don't want to have lost mine and then die to one at the same time. Well, I'm pretty sure you can find Muno if you go around there or some shit, but ain't nobody got time for that, so we're just gonna carry on our adventure and go and graveyard um Poor Lily, she, well, she really didn't last very long at all. Um, we'll just move Pokemon, which should just be an option on its own. It shouldn't be anything else. Um, if I move that into the next box, box two, we can rename this box um, Graveyard, if I can find the delete button. Graveyard. Oh, it's graveyard one word. Oh wow, graveyard doesn't even fit. That's just, that's depressing. Um, we'll just call it Graves. Graver. Graves. Jesus, I cannot type fish balls on this thing. Rip. Blessed Lily, you quirky poison heal ombre. You shall be missed. Well, JK. Well, I don't know, it could be useful to have a grass type. I bet we're gonna run into so many water types now as well. But then again, we've got Nutsy to handle that kind of stuff. So we're gonna continue on our adventure. We're gonna say hi to this bold man with a very shiny head. He's not really gonna say anything too interesting. Are we gonna go and admire this Toplery? Is that a Swablu? That's a Pikachu. Old man is gonna finally let us go past and we are on Route 3, which means we could possibly get another encounter after this double battle. <laughs> oh crap. I heard double battles pretty OP when they're randomised. Please don't have Lugia. Please don't have Lugia. Please don't have Groudon on Kyogre. Oh, Cub Chew and Gollet. I can handle that. Last Light and Nutsy. We've got pretty good uh, tech coverage there. So if I go for a Shadow Force on Golet, we should probably be easy to be able to take that thing out. And I can go for a Thunder Punch on Cub Cube and hopefully take that thing out. Although it's an Ice type, I really hope it doesn't have a really powerful Ice type move. Oh my god, I wasn't thinking. Oh, thank god. That was a crit. It's a crit! So, Cub Cube is gone. Imagine if it had Blizzard or something, or Freeze. Well, it won't have Freeze Dry, but I don't know, something spooky. Spooky. Speaking of spooky, we're gonna go for a Shadow Force and um, I'm gonna. Well. No, we'll be safe, won't we? We'll be safe. Um, I go for a Brave Bit on the Golet. I'm not sure if we're gonna write Speed um, Chandelier actually. Wow, well then. Chandelier was totally useless. I could have gone for a Thunder Punch, but I was scared that 
I don't know, Chandler might miss, even though it's got compound eyes and I'm pretty sure Rare Phantom Force doesn't miss or whatever. But you never know, it was a ground type, I didn't want to risk. Wait, ground, I'm immune to ground. Why do I keep thinking I'm immune to- Oh, <gasps> no, Sharon! Lauren, stop! We both have a trio badge, so let's see which one of us is stronger. Bum, 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 bum. We're challenged by Clerk Thomas. He's got his Carvana still, he's still rocking the Carvana. Oh my god, our first Ali Pokemon is Chandler. Bad TD times. It's also a higher level than us. Do we want to risk swapping our level 15 electric type? I think so. We could go for a wood hammer. It is frail. But if it didn't kill, we'd certainly lose Chandler, so I don't really want to risk that. He's gonna go for an Aqua Tail. Oh shoot. Please don't kill us, please don't kill us, please don't kill us. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> my nerves are on edge. <laughs> I don't like Nuzlocks. They scare me too much. Please die. Oh thank god. Oh my god, I've really got to be careful as well. Lots of wild Pokemon could possibly have rough skin without knowing. I mean, this thing obviously doesn't because we fought it before. It's got far fetched. It's only level 12, so we're probably going to outspeed it. I'm just going to go for Thunder Punch and hopefully take it out. I'm really hoping it doesn't have rough skin. No, the rough skin shouldn't do enough to kill us. And it's going to go down to a Thunder Punch. Nutsy OP. Definitely carrying our team. I really hope we don't lose this guy. Girl. I keep calling everyone a guy. Oh my god, I almost fell in Zap Cannon. What does Zap Cannon even do? Uh, use a Fire's Electric Blast like a cannon to inflict damage, causing paralysis. 120 power. Only 50 accuracy and it's special. It's probably going to be better than Electro Ball, so we'll just forget Electro Ball for it. Let's see Zap Cannon, yay! It's got pretty high base power too, so if we come across a physically defensive Pokemon, it might be quite useful. I see, so that's how you battle. Out of the way! What's that about? Bianca, why are you running? Hey, where were those people headed? That way, but why are you running now? Oh, seriously, they run so fast. Miss, oh my Pokemon. It'll be okay, don't worry, don't cry. Bianca, really, why were you running? God, Shannon, it's supposed to be clever. You have to hear this. Those people stole this girl's Pokemon. You should have spoken up sooner. Lauren, we're we gonna go get that Pokemon back. Bianca, please stay by the girl's side. Tell you what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna heal up Nutsy because I do not want to lose Nutsy. Nutsy is a beast. I don't want to lose the flying squirrel of death. Um, where's our potions? Super potion. Oh, should we actually um finish up all the potions that we've got? Because we're probably never gonna use them again. So that's gonna heal up her. Pretty good. Hopefully we're gonna get a really good item in this grass. Come on. Come on, Master Ball. Sooth Bell. Sooth Bell can work, I guess. We're gonna have a first encounter here as well, can't we? So let's see what we can catch. What's in this patch of grass? Oh, I'm in Sino. I'm actually quite chuffed about that. It's pretty cute. I wonder what ability it's gonna have. I wonder what moves it's gonna have. Um. I'm several levels higher than it, so I'm just gonna go for Ice Shard because Ice Shard's gonna. I can't really go for Nightshade because it's a normal cycle, unfortunately. Oh, Ice Shard's gonna do Techno Blast. Oh, I can't go for that. Techno Blast Machino. That could be pretty OP if it was holding your plate. Stomp. That's not gonna affect us either. We can pretty much shape it to go for as many Ice Shards as we like then. Hopefully we can catch this guy in a Prima Ball, that'd be quite cute. I really hope he hasn't got Earthquake or something. Oh, this uh oh. Does that mean we can get hit by um, thingy type moves now? Not sure. I think it does, doesn't it? I don't really want to get hit by a Techno Blast. Um, do I go for an Ice Shadow or do I try and throw a ball at it? So I said we could swap into Nutsy hoping for static, but um we can't. Well 
Yeah, I think. Oh shit. Um. Hmm. I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna go for one last eye shard. Okay, she's gonna go for Ogre Seth again. I'm gonna go back and we're gonna go Pokeballs. We're gonna try the Prima Ball. I'm really hoping we can catch this guy in a Prima Ball. If not, we can throw a Great Ball at it, I guess. Roll once, roll twice, roll three times, and gotcha! Minchino was caught! Oh, I'm quite happy we've got this little guy. It's really cute. And I quite like its evolve. They greet one another by rubbing each other with their tails, which are always kept well groomed and clean. It's actually based off a chinchilla, isn't it? Give nickname, yes. We have to nickname everything we catch. I want to call this thing Sugar Puff. I'm going to call it Fluffle. Gotcha in a Fluffle. So let's have a look at what stats Fluffle has. Hopefully it has a really nice OP ability. Got a brave nature. It's got lightning rod. That could be pretty helpful. It's got Technoblast, Stomp, Howl, and Odor Sleuth. Um, it's got a pretty Garbo moveset except for Technoblast, but we haven't got any plates, so I don't think you can even use Technoblast without a plate, can you? Or is it just normal type without a plate? Um, I don't want to switch. I want a summary. I wasn't... Brave Nature. Is that going to boost attack? That is going to boost attack, but negate speed, which is unfortunate considering we have an ability that boosts our special attack. Um, but hopefully we can get some good swap-ins. Um, let's just heal this guy up. This girl up. Oh my goodness. I'm going to do that every time. This girl. So, without further ado, let's just save the game. Just gotta play it safe, don't really want to lose any save files or anything like that. We are 23 minutes into this playthrough as well, I'll probably keep it rolling to like 30, 35 because I am going to be able to speed up quite a lot of the parts that are slowing this thing down. So we're going to save the game and we're going to continue on our adventure to go and catch these bad, bad people. I kind of want to um, swap Fluffle out here, see if it can actually learn Maybe this thing would have been a good Pokemon to have cut on, because at least it would be Stab. I want to go get that item. Oh no. I wanted to dodge her. Your Pokemon look quite good. Would you have shown me how? you become a good trainer? Blah blah blah. She is a Pokemon breeder. She's got three... She's a Pokemon breeder, but part-time gymnast. She's got... <gasps> Shady Penguin! Got a Deli Bird on the go. I'm gonna set up Fluffle. Level 9 versus level 11. I'm gonna go for a Techno Blast. Oh shit! No, 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 I don't wanna lose this guy. Oh, thank god. Wow, didn't even kill. Didn't even kill, and that thing outspeeds us. Alright, Nutsy it is. Nutsy's gonna have to just come through for the team, as usual, the Flying Squirrel of Death. It's gonna have to just save it. Oh my god, it's part ice type shit. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? Please don't go for Blizzard. Blizzard. Oh, Aeroblast again. We're pretty safe. Pretty safe. Whew. I need to really stop rushing and stop assuming all these things. We are going right speed because we are so many levels higher. Thank goodness. That thing could have gone for Ice Beam and that would probably be a dead nutsy. Or maybe not because, like I said, it is quite a few levels lower. Fluffle is not gonna sna snag a level up though, unfortunately. We have got a hop up here, I'm just gonna go for Brave Bird because it's gonna be super effective. This Amolga, I'm actually in love with this Amolga. I might have to try and hack one on X and Y and just use it for the sake of it. Watch people's like surprised faces, like what? Let's see damage by recoil. Zuelos? Oh she. I'm just gonna go for a bolt strike, just try and hit it with something powerful. It is gonna resist, I think, because I swear Dragon resists electric. Yeah, it is gonna resist, but we're easily gonna be able to take that out. No messing around. It was a crit as well. Nazi rolling in them crits. So we're just gonna head on into this cave. If I can not attack. They ran inside here. Lauren, your Pokemon's HP is fine and you're ready to go, right? Yes. Then let's go. It's a good job we bought that escape rope because we're probably going to need it. 
Wellspring Cave. Oh, we can have an encounter in here too. Hopefully we'll get something good. Lauren, this bothersome brunch doesn't really seem to want to listen to reason. That child cannot use a Pokemon to its full potential. Doesn't that make the Pokemon sad? It's the same thing for all of your Pokemon, so hand them over to us now! Better yet, we'll just take them. You will not take my cute Fluffy. Cute Fluffy Tail Minchino. My Fluffle. You cannot have my Fluffle. I won't let you. Maybe we should have called it Marshmallow. That would have been cute. Krikatoon! Wow, bringing out the power here. It's level 12. We're level 11. It's got snow warning. Oh god. I misclicked. Please don't kill us. Please don't kill us. Please don't kill us. <gasps> I misclicked so bad. I didn't even want to click that. That was not what I wanted to do. That is not what I wanted to do. Oh my god, we're going to lose it just because I'm being an absolute douche. Um... Last night just not actually have a fire type move, so we're gonna have to go into blue stuff. I'm really scared that it might have bug bite. I've got multi scale anyway, so if in doubt, swap handle in because multi scale is awesome and will hook through me and I don't die. U turn. He's going for the cheeky U turn. I don't even know if that'll do any damage to me. Oh my god, that did loads. Holy land! I really hope I don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. Flame burst. Oh, we're up to speed. I've got really nervous disposition when I'm doing this, I don't like it. That u turn did loads. Multi scale handle is not good. We're all gonna level up though. Fluffle is gonna grow to level 12 and not learn a new move, which is gonna make it pretty useless. What? How could we lose when we have right on our side? Not bad, Lauren. Okay, return the Pokemon to that girl. You don't need to return it! How troublesome. Not only do you, you not only do you fail to understand, but you actually got in our way to boot. There's two of you and two of us. We'll show you our combined power and teach you that we are right. So there were more of them. Still, why are Pokemon robbers acting so self righteous? Lauren, we've been friends our whole lives, so we have we've got each other's back when it counts. Let's show them how it's done. So this is gonna be a double battle, I'm assuming? I really hope I don't have to carry the other guy's team. They've only got one Pokemon each. I got a Time Pole and a Scallopede. Hmm. Problems. Problems arise because Fluffle's almost dead, which means I'm going to have to swap in. And I do not want to have to swap in with a Time Pole out, which means we could possibly. I'm going to have to go into Nutsy and really hope Nutsy can carry us and that. Scolipede is not going to be carrying Rock Slide at level 12. Bug Buzz. Is that going to be on Carvana? For God's sake, we're on our own already. Not good. Water Pulse. Oh, please don't kill me. Oh my goodness. Far fetched. I've only got Brave Bird and the recoil is gonna I'm gonna have to Thunder Punch the Scolipede and hope that Farfetch can do something to Poison Point. Oh no! Oh no! Oh my goodness, what the hell? No! 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 Oh my god, we're still alive, we're still alive, we're still alive, we're still alive. Oh, thank goodness. Oh my god. Did you see they were working in tandem there? In tampole tandem. <gasps> Please, not on that team. No! No! <gasps> oh no, we survived. No, the poison's gonna kill us. The poison's gonna kill us. The poison's gonna kill us. <gasps> We survived, we survived, we survived, we survived, we survived, we survived. <sighs> no, we don't want a status restore. We want HP PV restore, we want a super potion, we want Nancy to survive. Hanging on there for Ice Squirrel. I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have swapped you in, I'm sorry. Oh, right. We're looking pretty safe now. The dog's gonna be completely useless. 
Oh, I really honestly thought we were gonna- Stop going for me, you horrible, horrible being. Oh, he gets- his snags are confused. Oh shit, we're gonna die to this thing. Please don't hit yourself. Please don't hit yourself. Please do not hit your- No. 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 Let's see. Come on, Farfetch. Kill it, please. Please don't land that on me again. Why are you only going for me? This is unfair. I'm going to have to waste all of my super potions just to survive this battle. I'm going to die to poison as well. Fuck, please, kill it. Almost. Why are you only attacking me? Oh, poison isn't going to get worse, is it? Because it's just poison, poison, poison. Please don't be confused. Please don't hit yourself in confusion again. Thank you. Finally, we got... That was hectic and terrifying at the same time. I cannot believe that it had telepathy and sludge wave. I am terrified for the next lot of battles, honestly. Terrified. Well, Fluffle gained a level. Conversion 2? Um. What does that do? The user changes its type to make itself resistant to the type of attack the opponent used last. That could be useful. I'm gonna forget Odessa for that one. That could be quite useful. Conversion 2. What did we lose? I can't believe that Team Plasma lost to such kids. We got £960. £960 is not worth the death of my favourite squirrel. In order to liberate Pokemon from foolish people, we will take their Pokemon. Sharon, whatever. What a waste of time. Come on, what reason could you possibly justify stealing Pokemon from people? Pokemon trainers like you are making Pokemon suffer. What do you mean? Trainers are making Pokemon suffer. I don't get that at all. We'll give you back the Pokemon, but be aware of how this Pokemon suffers from being used by people. Someday, open your eyes to your own complacency. Trainers bright out their Pokemon strength. Pokemon believe in their trainers and respond to that. I don't understand what makes that what uh, that makes what part of that makes Pokemon suffer. Okay, Lauren, I'll return the Pokemon. So I'm just going to see if we can get an encounter in this cave and then I'm going to wrap up this episode. We're just going to have a bit of a running around and um, oh we got a Tortuga, a wild Tortuga. This could be good, we do need a water type, however, however we are possibly going to struggle to actually catch this guy because we may lose Pokemon attempting to catch this dude. I'm not sure if it's worth losing a Pokemon to catch it. Um, it is level 10, so we could go for Hyper Potion on Fluffle and see if we could do anything. Or we could swap into Nutsy and hope he doesn't use a type of attack but I think I'm gonna play it safe and just use a super potion on this guy and see what happens. Uh, it's gonna go for reflect type. Is that gonna take our type? So it's now gonna be a normal type which is good because that means um hmm I don't know how much would the techno blast kill it? They've got pretty good defense didn't they? I'm going for a techno blast hope it doesn't die. We are only three levels higher, so hopefully it's not going to kill it. Ooh, powder snow. It looks like this guy doesn't even have any water or anything kind of moves. I'm going to go in the bag and we're going to go Pokeballs. We're going to catch it in the Great Ball because it's blue and it's probably going to match the... It's got a bit of, you know, colour matching going on. We're going to catch this guy. I already know what I'm going to call this dude if we catch it. Yes, we caught it. I swear we've caught like every Pokemon so far. We haven't like wasted any balls. Except Chandler may have took a couple. 
Restored from a fossil, this Pokemon can dive into the depths beyond half a mile. Give a name to the Quartz Tortuga. Yes, we're going to call this Kyle because Kyle absolutely adores turtles and tortoises and I think he'd be pretty gutted if I didn't, so we're going to call this Kyle. Kyle the Tortuga. So let's see what ability this guy has actually got and then we'll just wrap up this episode right here. It's actually holding an item which could possibly be useful. Let's steal that. It's got a full heal, which can be helpful for Nazi. Summary, I bet you it's got pickup. It's a lax nature and it's got defiant when its stats are lowered and at its attack increases. It's got razor shell, magical leaf reflect type and powder snow. Thank goodness it didn't use razor shell on us. That could have been pretty dangerous. Um, it's going to get have less defense for more special defense. So that was probably the only reason it survived that techno blast. Um, so Yep, that is going to be our new Pokemon. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'm just going to wrap it up here because I do not want these episodes to be too long. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye!